Hi guys, today I'm going to tell you about the partial derivatives that is used when we have some variables and want to find the derivative with respect to one variable when another variable is held constant. And for example, we have utility function x, y squared. And we want to find the derivative of x while y is constant. For example, you say, okay, of x. And you take the derivative of all function and you put here x and it's going to be x squared. So x, we don't need to use x, it's going to be 1 and that's why we have at the end uh, y squared. Now I want to find also in respect to y, we do the same. Here we have, and now we have x to y. Because it's in squared, 2 is going to the beginning, and that's why we still have y. So, this is the first example. Now, the second example, if, for example, you have the partial derivative and like y is equal to 3x. So, if we have this symbol, we have plus, minus, we don't need to use this at all when we want to find the derivative. That's why we have to use just x, so it's going to be 1 and for y it's going to be 3. So we just we just we don't need to use y and x at all. If we have such derivative function, we want to find another derivative function and it's going to be 1 going to be like this. That's why we should still have here 1. Here is going to be one like this. So, uh, this y is going is going at the beginning. It's one, one, 1 divided by 2 and we still have squared and so on and so on. And maybe one more example if you still want. For example, we have If we have such function and we want to find so 2 is going to the beginning and we still have x and for y it's going to 1 because it's going like so it's going to be 1. So thank you for your attention. If you have any questions you can mail me, you can ask me, you can comment and thank you for your uh, watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.